I hope you really enjoyed our story of what was I scared of. And I thought we could make a fun craft to go along with it. We could make our very own pale green pants with nobody inside them. And to do that, all you are going to need for this craft project is going to be a sheet of plain white computer paper, a pencil and a marker, um, a colored straw, your scissors, some colored pencil, preferably a pale green colored pencil or crayon or marker, whatever you have is sufficient. You're going to need some glue and you're going to need these little paper fasteners. Um, if you don't have these, you can um, just make the pants without the fastener, but we're going to make the fasteners spin on a straw. And for that, you're going to need um, the fastener to go through your pants. Um, so that is optional if you'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started, take your sheet of computer paper, or whatever paper you have, construction paper, and you just want to fold it in half. Just like that. And then you want to take your pencil, and you're going to free draw the shape of your pants onto your paper. I made mine kind of like bell bottoms, um, but you can make yours any way you want. You just want to bring it up so that the top of the pants is on the fold of the paper and the bottom of the pants is at the open end of the paper like that. And then you can just kind of come up here and make your pant legs like so. Once your pant legs are drawn, you want to outline your, your lines with a black marker and like this. And like this. Be careful not to get permanent marker on your surface. You will want to make sure you put paper down underneath it if you don't have a protected surface. And good news, if you do get permanent marker on your on your tabletop, regular toothpaste, non-whitening toothpaste, will remove it. I know from personal experience. Then you want to take your green crayon or your green pencil or your green marker and you want to color all of your pans in to make them those nice pale green spooky color of our pants in the book and we're just going to quick color here give you an idea as to what they would look like make sure you stay within the lines because we're all good colors and we can stay within the lines and i'm going to need to sharpen my pencil again here pretty soon and you can go over it different directions, however you want to do to make your pants nice and colored and colorful. Then you want to take your black marker again, and you want to color in the bottom of your pants, a nice thick line that gives it some depth. And the bottom of your pants over here again with a nice thicker line to give them some depth. And of course you want to color at the top of the fold here also. If you want to round it out a little bit, you can. There you go. And then you can give your pants some pockets. You can decorate your pants any other way you want. The pants in our book were not very decorative. If you recall, they were just plain, spooky, pale green pants. So that's the effect that we're going for here. Now you have to cut them out. <clears throat> if you're still learning how to use scissors or you don't know how to use scissors, you can get a grown-up to help you. But otherwise, just cut your spooky pair of pants right on out. Be careful not to cut on the fold. And you want to cut up your lines here. Like so. And one more up this way. Here we go, like this. There. You can throw your trash away. Then you want to take a paper fastener, if you have these at home, and you're going to want to open up your pants to the inside, and you want to poke your paper fastener through right here in the middle. Once it's all the way through, then you want to take your glue, and we want to glue our pants together. And you don't need a lot of glue because it's paper. It'll be really thin. You can also use a glue stick if you like. Um, my glue stick is all dried out, so we're using regular glue. And put your glue on like so. And glue your pants together. I flip mine over like that. And there they are. 
Now your pants look like this. Then you're going to take a straw. It can be any color you'd like, but I went with green to go along with our motif. And if you have bendy straws, this will work a little bit better. You can bend your straw and insert your fastener into your straw. And there you have it. Pooky, spooky, pale green pants that float anywhere and everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed making your pale green pants from our book, What Was I Scared Of? And I hope that you guys all have a great evening. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.